We're here at Forever Wild, and I'm here with Shemaine Almquist, yes. and her and her husband, Joel, own this fabulous place. I have to ask you a question. Um, you're out in the middle of Feline, you're out in the middle of nowhere. How did you find this location, first of all? I mean, you're out here, it's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> well, you know, people don't find it um, very comforting to have tigers right in the middle of the city. <laughs> so that kind of put when our options block down. Party, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You bring it just tiger. doesn't work out very well. So um, he did a lot of research and stuff. We were thinking about going out of state, mm -hmm. um, but all our family's here, so we didn't really want to um, leave family. And plus, uh, at the time, my husband had a younger daughter mm -hmm. uh, that he didn't want to leave. So. You well, know, this when place he first, is great. I when mean, he first told me feeling, I'm like, you've got to be out of your mind. You know, I'm a city girl, Newport Beach, Westminster, Huntington Beach area. We have eight and a half acres here. And, well, tell uh, me this thing about, I, I heard that you were selected for Extreme Home Makeover in like 2009. What? Yes. What was it? Was this just like a... A barren shack, and then they came in and built this whole complex for you. How'd that work? Well, actually, right where we're standing right now yes. would be the hallway to our double wide mobile home <laughs> <laughs> that really? we used to live in. Yes, original and trailer trash. I love yes. it. Yes, that's going from from my own heart. Beach I love it. to a trailer. That was wonderful. But no, I mean, um, so they constructed all this stuff or a lot of it for you. Yeah, I mean, we have wow. the learning center um, that they built so that guests can come in and teach their family about um, what they can do to make a difference to help. Kind of our area, no running, no yelling, no teasing the animals. No. Yeah, just try me. Come on, let's yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at the lion. Um, oh my God. Yes, that's Gypsy. She's been with us for going on five years now, so wow. she's six years old. She's a retired um, movie star actor, so. Really? Um, she wasn't, she wasn't needed anymore in the industry, so yeah. she came to he live out her days here. We have two girls in here, rescued about six months to eight months apart, so we decided to try to put them together so they can live together. But came totally at different times, different situations. Oh, look at the faces. Um, oh, my God. You know, no two tigers have the same stripes. Their stripes are their fingerprints. Both of them are between 12 and 14 years old. I love my job. I love what I get oh, to do. I don't like the reasons why I have to do it, but yeah. I do love being able to be here and to make a difference for these guys. A around. black leopard? Yeah, he's an oh old man scores. too. He's 17 years old this year. Really? Happy birthday, dude! It does not get any better than this. Look at this right here. I am in heaven right now. First of all, tell me, the, the animals that you have, the zoos won't take, right? So right. once they're here, they're going nowhere else. I mean, right. or they're going to be killed. So the animals that we deal with are captive bred. So right. they're born in captivity. If an animal, a wild animal such as these are born in captivity, the law states that they have to stay in captivity the rest of their life. So well, somebody thinks they're going to raise a tiger in their backyard and they're going to be a pet. Is that what it is? The last time I, I saw crazy. the statistics, there was about roughly 10,000 captive bred tigers in the United States alone. Unbelievable. So Hi. we have less than 5,000 out in the oh, wild and more right. than 10,000 in captivity. Oh, but he's hungry. <laughs> yes, he, he is hungry. Reason. So I'm going to keep my hand far Away. from the cage. Yes. <laughs> what, does it cost? what does it cost to keep this place running every month? Every month we are just shy, and when I say just shy, maybe like five or ten dollars shy of ten thousand dollars a month. Stop it. I mean, our electric bill alone is fifteen hundred dollars a month. Wow. So yeah. So it's strictly up there. donations. Donations You're non and the tours. Yeah, we're nonprofit. Five and you are open for tours. Yes, seven okay. days a week. Oh my God, that's amazing. I also saw something that I really, really find interesting that all of your volunteers have to be schooled in some form of uh, animal knowledge, animal training vet school, something like that. They're just not people off the street. So you no. really have people that are focused on the well-being of these animals because right. clearly they are amazing creatures. Right. And it's an educational experience, you know? It is. I mean, we give them the ability to have hands-on experience. I see <laughs> that you've got a white tiger. Yeah, just don't get very close to this one because okay. literally she <laughs> has she's, she has a lot of inbreeding issues. So oh, um, that'll make them, I'll be happy one minute and then I'm going to kill you the next second. Oh, my God. That's why if you see, we don't shave her. She just genetically, she can't produce hair in the middle part of her body because of the inbreeding. All white tigers are inbred in the United States. Really? Mm-hmm. In order to get the white tiger gene to keep continuing, they have to inbreed. Just be careful. Yeah, okay. she's not trustworthy at all. It's real meat. It's raw meat. That's what they're made. They're carnivores. Holy smoke, the bone and everything. Oh, my oh God. yeah. Well, think about it. In the wild, nothing's wasted.
you're getting a little chubby. <laughs> well, oh. maybe it's just not her best side. Okay, so we just saw the room of all the venomous snakes, and you have like the largest collection in what, California? Or One where? of the largest, yeah. Really? And you have yeah. cobras and all the flatheads and all the, I mean, the ones that'll blood suck you dry. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, and this, what, I hate snakes. But this is a rosy boa. I don't care what it is, I can't stand them. What is that? It is a native to California, mm -hmm. San Gabriel Mountains. Mm -hmm. It is probably one of the oh most God. docile snakes that... Will bite? You, no. Well, you'd probably have to squeeze it and it will bite, but we don't want to do that. So we're going to be very nice to him. Oh. And right now, all he's doing is trying to find oh warmth. So he's searching right now for the warmest part of your body to Oh, grow he's up. not going to find that. <laughs> <laughs> So, There's not enough Xanax in the world for this me to... Is oh my God, I have about, to hold it? Yeah, this is oh, just about have, full grown. You have... Oh my God, you have no idea how bad this is for me. Wow, 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 wow. okay. It. it looks beautiful. Oh, they have beautiful. a lot of different colors to them. Okay. This is Forever Wild Exotic Animal Sanctuary in Fuelan. You've got to come up here. This is <clears throat> Shemaine and her husband, Joel. They own it. Hello, how are you? To say nice hi. to see you. Hi, love you too. <laughs> anyway, they need donations. They need go on their website, check out. Uh, they have a wish list of things that they need. Um, they've got over 200 animals. They've got just gorgeous people. Bring tours out here. Come out and bring your family and enjoy the day and hold a snake because now this isn't too bad. Right? This is okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank we'll see you, you next time on Adventures from Creature Land. Take care. Bye bye. Snakes. There we go. You keep on wanting to go that way. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I love it.